Hello painters. In this episode of Painting the Monster Manual A to Z, we will be painting the boule. Alright, so we're going to use the Reaper Bones Burrowing Horror for this. Starting with our Zenithal Priming, and we are going to airbrush some P3 Bastion Gray. So a little flow improver, and a little Bastion Gray. Mix it up. We're just going to paint the bottom part of his uh, body with this. The bottom half, I guess. And this will probably take two coats to get a good coverage. Moving on to some P3 Gravedigger denim. And we'll paint all of the plates on his back and we're also going to paint the uh, plates around his head and his lower jaw Basically everything but the teeth there. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, next up we've got some P3 Coal Black. And we're just going to paint all of the uh, teeth in the area in between the plates on his face. Apologize, got a little off camera there. All right, now we've got some P3 Menoth white base and we're gonna base coat his claws. And I try not to completely cover where the claws are touching each other. I wanna leave a line so we get some shadow in there. So just don't paint it up next to each other. See how I leave that gap. And you can always go in with some of your gray if you uh, mess up and just repaint that line in between. Now I've got some Army Painter uh, Dark Wash or it's a, it's a black wash similar to a null oil and we're going to paint the teeth mouth area with that. And to that, I'm going to add some Army Painter Blue Tone, about 50/50. Mix it up and we're going to cover all of the blue plates with this. So basically it's just a really dark blue wash. Don't let it pull up too much. You just want it to stay in the recesses. So try to wick it away from all the flat areas, especially on the large plates above his head. There you can see I'm just cleaning up some of it, wiping it off on a paper towel. All right, now we've got Army Painter Strong Tone. And this is a dark brown wash, and we will use that on all of the gray and the claws. Could also use Agrax Earthshade. Alright, next we've got P3 Trollblood Highlight, 
and we're gonna dry brush this over all the gray and all of the claws now we got p3 frostbite and we will dry brush that over all the blue this ended up being a little too bright for my liking and later we will put another wash over that to tone this down And now we've got some P3 Menoth White base. And we're just going to highlight the tops of the claws. Where we think light would hit the most. Try not to get any paint in the little uh, ridges in the claws. You want to leave those shaded. Alright, now we've got some Vallejo Model Color Ivory. And I'm putting some on my brush and... Wiping most of the paint off and basically kind of doing a dry brush, just holding my brush flat against the teeth and just sort of pulling them along so it just hits the top of them. So it's kind of like a very controlled dry brush. And I will do this two times to get good coverage. Now I've got some Vallejo Game Color Scarlet Red. And I'm going to paint the little eyeballs. Now we've got some Citadel Flash Gets Yellow. And we're just going to make a small dot of the yellow in the center of the red. There you can see I've got some orange paint on my boulet, which I had to cover up. All right, now we're going back with some Army Painter Light Tone. And painting the teeth. And there you have it. Uh, I didn't show, uh, going back over with the second wash on the blue part, but uh, you can just use uh, your dark wash again. Anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to see if you like more. And we'll see you next time.